This is Tuesday, October 14, 2014. And so far, it looks like the metals are flat today. Precious metals. As a group, I'm looking at them. And of course, platinum is a precious metal. And my friend Tech, who has a channel called Moments in Trading, has done an outstanding video on the gold and platinum ratio, talking about supply, ratio over time and price. Outstanding five and a half minute video. And it's interesting because he does hard research in his videos, hard as in like real hard numbers. He uses like the real reports and does like real analysis and he does real math, but he gets a fraction of the views of a lot of sensational channels who talk about precious metal because he doesn't use any kind of sales pitch. He just gives you the numbers. He gives you the ratios. He doesn't have any like gimmicks or he doesn't have any um, kind of like fear overview or he doesn't try and pull on your political or ideological strings. He just gives you the information and that kind of information isn't nearly as popular is the is the ones who give a story like a lot of people want to hear they want to hear like how the world works and silver they want to hear that thing when he wants to give you the numbers and his channel is much less popular which is actually kind of good news if you really want to know how stuff works and you want to do well in the markets because if you want to do well in the markets you need you need that hard cold boring information and you want to avoid this sensational ideological buttons that are being pushed in the back of your head because those the, 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 that's how that's how you get emotionally attached to something right as much as you might like this stuff right this is like a shiny if you get emotionally attached to this you'll have a hard time parting with it when the time is when it, when it comes time to part with it and a lot of these things work on a love hate relationship where people will love them at a high price and then people will hate them at a low price you might you must not have neither hate nor love for something like this and for people who like to quote the bible there are a lot of quotes about like not loving this stuff right don't hate it either it just is this is just is so going back to the video He's talking about how the gold to silver, I'm mean, sorry, the gold to platinum ratio, how fascinating it is. Because in the recent years, gold and platinum have been roughly the same price, yet there's 14 times as much gold mined as platinum. And that tells you how supply and demand works, is that there's 14 times as much gold mined as platinum yet they're about the same price. Which means that there's either this cartel that is manipulating platinum lower, right? Or it's supply and demand. So, I mean, you hear a lot of these things as proof that, you know, silver is being manipulated because they do a ratio of like silver to gold or something else and say, aha, that must be manipulation. Well, let's look at another precious metal. Platinum is a precious metal for sure. And there's 14 times as much plat no, no, 14 times as much gold minus platinum. If they're the same price, so that means that there's a lot more demand for gold, or that there's manipulation that gold is artificially manipulated up, or it means that platinum is artificially manipulated low, or a combination. I think is the obvious one. I think the demand for gold is much higher than platinum. The central banks are holding gold, they're not holding platinum. You see all these stacker um, videos about gold and very few about platinum. That's like a supply and demand thing. And Kitco had a, uh, I'm segueing because these are supply and demand and, and commodities. Kitco had a great article about misconceptions about how the commodity exchanges work. And it mentioned how in a single day, a year and a half of the entire supply of wheat can be traded in one day. 
a year and a half of the entire um, supply of wheat can be traded in one day. So that's like, that's how these, that's how these indexes roll. You see these crazy volumes, right? So is the price of wheat suppressed? Um, well, I'll tell you something about the prices of grain is that the price of grain is suppressed lower because of government subsidies. I saw, I have a video, I have a, a movie called King Corn. And a couple of guys decided to, 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 to grow and sell their own corn. And they talk about corn syrup and GMOs and all that fun stuff. And they realized that after they grew their corn, that it was not profitable. In fact, they would operate a loss until the government subsidy kicked in. So when you, when you eat corn products, you are buying something that's, quote, below market cost because the U.S. government subsidizes it, right? So that is a quote, artificially manipulated price lower because of the subsidy. And yet, when you see the trading volume, even though the price of corn is, is, is below the cost it takes to make it and the government subsidizing it, you will still see these crazy amounts of trading volume in a day where the entire year worth of corn being grown could be traded in one day, even with that happening, even e even with that happening, the price of corn is still below the cost it takes to grow it. So there could be some parallels here to other markets, right? Some, a lot of people are saying that the price of when the price of silver goes below the mining cost, they will say that is proof of uh, manipulation. Well. What kind of manipulation? What's going on, right? And the manipulation is often in a subsidy or the, su the supply. Well, you know, I'm starting to go off on tangents. But basically, if you're concerned about manipulation and ratios, look at the platinum to gold ratio. Platinum, there are 14 times as much gold minus platinum and the prices are about the same. And is platinum being manipulated down? Is gold being manipulated up? Or is it just that the demand for gold is a lot higher than platinum and a lot of this demand is coming from the central banks? So think on that, have a good day.